All right, YouTube, here's another uh, collection video from me. What you see before you is um, basically the knives that are uh, produced by Myrico, or, um, you know, they kind of oversee it. These, uh, back to, you've, you've seen on my channel already, this is the uh, Myrico Lightfoot Catch Dog, made in China, HCR 13 MOV, black G10 scales with uh, carbon fiber. You know, for the uh, the cost that uh, you can buy one of these, it's uh, it's not a bad blade. It's thick as hell, though. Um, that is a 40 degree edge on there. I think I might have relieved it a little on the 30 with a sharp maker, um, but you see how thick that is. This thing is no joke. Four and a half, I think it's four and a half millimeters thick. Beefcake. Kind of dig that uh, asymmetrical uh, swedge that. It has up on there. Good size knife though. Next up is uh, kind of the brother to it. This is a Kirby Lambert uh, design. I think it's the Incinerator or Snap, one of them two, uh, is what the basis uh, for this design was for Myrco. Nice knife. I really like the way this one. Uh, Feels, carries, cuts um, better than that catch dog. This has got a hollow ground as opposed to kind of that flat grind that the uh, catch dog has. Good point on this one. So, yeah, this one I don't mind carrying. I, I like carrying this one. All right. Next up, this is a. Uh, Kind of a little novelty. Both of these next knives are kind of just novelties I, I put in my collection. This one has a ceramic blade on it. You see that long clip point, even with a bit of a swedge onto that. You hear how quiet that opens? There's no detent ball in this uh, liner lock either. It just runs right along the ceramic and then pops air back behind the tang really uh, handle heavy it's uh, steel liners and then um, aluminum scales on top of that of course this uh, thin ceramic blade weighs nothing so all the weight is really in your in your hand it uh, it is sharp you know um, it, it cuts decently well I don't know if it's really like, screaming sharp it could probably be sharper but uh, for what they did on it it's good. I don't plan on ever having to really uh, put it through use. It will damage the edge so much that it doesn't stay that good utility edge sharp. Like I said, it's kind of a novelty. Just wanted to check out some ceramic blades. Now this one, on the clip it says uh, American Tactical. This entire knife, um, well, save for a spring, which is part of the assisted opening, is all um, plastic polymer so I think it's all Zytel check out the action on this like I said it is a assisted opening you can see the the coil spring inside of there and uh, it is a button lock which holds it open you can let's see the action there as I move that in how it stores the energy in that spring Oops. I don't have to worry about really cutting myself Cause it's plastic knife. Uh, it's got one hell of a wicked burr <laughs> on on the actual edge itself. Let's see if I can make it get into macro here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's just a little novelty thing, something to kind of kick around. I suppose if uh, you got kids, maybe they're old enough, you could give this to them. Uh, knife and not worry about them you know really slicing themselves up too bad cut open letters stuff like that really just novelty so there you go that's what I got for Myrco more videos on the way of my collection later